like suddenly like the whole community looking at this building and going, what's going on in there? Like, Izzy Waxman is the executive director of Mazon Canada, a Jewish charity that's rented space for years at 788 Marley Avenue in Toronto. Waxman's only worked there herself for seven years, but this was to be the organization's last day on the site. She and her team felt forced to move out to much more expensive premises downtown, but safer and healthier office space. What pushed them out are long-standing problems with water damage, mold, and possibly even asbestos in the 60-year-old building. Broken doors, disgusting bathrooms, no lights, elevators not up to date with inspections, and in the basement, rats. And the list goes on. And now the air conditioning has been broken for a while too. Waxman and her team have been documenting all the issues on video. These air vents, here's when they didn't replace the skylight. Where's the line? This is incredible. You I'm can hear it sure. rattling. The owners of the 60-year-old building are the Toronto Zionist Council and their longtime directors, Paul Rotenberg, his sister, Rena Greenwald, Gilbert Zamonsky, and Sharon and Nahum Wolf. Another person is listed as well, but is apparently mentally incapacitated. The council also owns a summer camp north of Toronto, Camp Shalom. The building houses that camp's head office, plus another camp, plus other Jewish agencies and Zionist bodies, including Sarel Canada, Canadian Friends of Yad Sara, a charity that helps the relatives of wounded or killed Israeli soldiers, and Canadian Young Judea, although officials say they no longer hold meetings there and won't let their youth wing use the basement anymore for council meetings because of rats. There's also a synagogue called the Marley Shul. They've just spent $18,000 renovating their space, and they don't venture upstairs too often. They just painted this, but I think it's pretty, it's like wild to me that of all the problems of the building, what they did was give this a coat of paint. I mean, I don't know, maybe we just don't notice so much. We're, we're, we're grateful we have a place to operate. Um, so it hasn't, you know, we haven't really... I mean, in terms of like mold and stuff, I don't know. I, 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 unfortunately, I can't really speak to it. There's also a bakery, which has passed City of Toronto health inspections recently. But the owner, Jesse Lash, agrees it's taking way too long to fix things, especially the broken side door and the air conditioning. While the City of Toronto investigates the conditions inside 788 Marley, there are also two lawsuits working their way through the Ontario court system, alleging misappropriation of funds, forgery, willful neglect, abuse, and taking money to pay for personal trips to Israel, and gas, and even a broken ice cream maker and a tractor with no receipts provided. One of the plaintiffs is Toronto lawyer and CJN columnist David Matlow, the others are Sharon and Nahum Wolf, directors who are suing the others. Both cases want the courts to kick the directors out, force them to account for where all the money has gone, and pay it back. Some estimates put the missing money at over $70,000, including for a mysterious series of computer services that Paul Rotenberg allegedly provided for Camp Shalom. Those involved in the lawsuit declined to speak on the record to the CJN on the advice of their lawyers, but they deny all the allegations and call the accusations, quote, salacious, unfounded, and unproven, unquote. The City of Toronto says it's already cited the building several times recently for exterior problems like garbage and long grass. For the Canadian Jewish News, I'm Ellen Besner in Toronto.